Hi, hello everyone. Welcome again to my channel, The Creative Agile IT. So in today's video, I'm going to share uh, some best practices around how to organize our sprints when we are part of a PI, the program increment, when let's say, you know, we are part of one of the Agile release train or we are using SAFE, the scaled Agile framework, or even if we are not using SAFE, I mean, we are doing a kind of like quarterly planning. So how we can best structure our sprints uh, so that, you know, we can identify, okay, this is what our PI sprint uh, looks like. And also we will try to understand some best practices around organizing our product backlog so that we can easily identify the set of features which are tagged with a particular PI. And uh, we will also try to create a query and send its, result, its results to the dashboard so that, you know, we can identify the list of work items uh, uh, tagged with a particular program increment. Uh, so that will be kind of like a high level agenda for this particular video. So let us start. So I'm sharing uh, the same project, the Scrum project 24 that uh, I have used in some of my videos. So if I open this one, so let's first go to the backlog. So we, we do have uh, some set of features uh, defined as part of uh, this particular project i mean let's first look at the set of epics so these are our set of epics so we have six epics we have user management we have online payments we have devops setup we have customer orders and we have customer dashboard as well as customer membership and we can always go here uh, in the new work item and select uh, you know the epic and we can have the epic uh, defined and if i expand this one the very first one we can see okay the user management consists of uh, the four set of features user login forgot username forgot password and the user profile and if i see this particular feature the user login it consists of two user story so this is the kind of hierarchy that we have used we have epic and the epic consists of feature and the feature consists of set of user stories so let us see that uh, you know this particular team they are working in a particular pi or a program increment and how to best structure their sprints so let's go to the project settings so this is our project setting this is scrum project 24 and it is using the process which is agile if i look at the project configuration so we have the sprints defined here right i mean we have the sprint one let's uh, kind of like try to remove this one okay and uh, also we can remove this one as well okay so if you see we have 10 sprints defined here from sprint one which is starting from 29th of jan till 14th of june Okay, so now let's say we have around uh, five sprints in a particular PI. Okay, so how should we uh, kind of like structure it? So one way is, you know, we can keep our sprints like this. So that way we do not, or we are not getting an idea, okay, what all sprints are part of the, which PI. So let's say we started our PI somewhere in uh, 24 Jan, and then uh, we are calling it as 24A, or maybe we are calling it as, you know, the quarter one or quarter two PI or quarter three PI. But I mean, if we are just keep adding the sprints, we are not getting a clear idea, okay, whether these sprints belong, belongs to the very first quarter PI, whether they, this belongs to the PI one, PI two, or PI three. So what we can do is, uh, I mean, uh, we, if we click on the new child and we say, this is our PI. We can call it as PI 24 quarter one. Okay. And uh, let's say the, it, it, it will start from, uh, okay, we will select the same date. We will say it is starts from 29th and uh, it will end on the 12th of April. So we will simply save and close, okay? And uh, this we need to bring it here on the top. Now what we will do is we will select the sprint one, sprint two. Uh, so we will move the sprint one to this one. We will also move the sprint two to here. We will also move the sprint three here. 
sprint 4 also we are we can simply drag it and sprint 5 okay so this is how we have kind of like structured we have mentioned that okay the very first pi or the you know the program increment that we have we are starting on 29th it will end on 12th okay so now a uh, sprint 5 is ending on 5th of april so what we will do is we will create another sprint and we will call it as ip sprint okay uh, for the 24 quarter one and we can have it started on 8th and it will end on 12th so just one week of our innovation and planning sprint okay now uh, let's create another child and we can call it pi 24 quarter 2 okay and uh, this will start on this will start from 15th and uh, this is going to end on in the june somewhere in the on the 21st of june let's say okay so now we have created another quarter another pi and now what we are doing is we are simply dragging this particular sprint as part of the quarter to the next set of sprints okay so uh, now what we can see is you know this is our project which is kind of a parent uh, uh, you know we, uh, we can call it as a parent node or the root node and under 24 we have two pis defined the very first pi we are calling is 24q1 and then we have 24q2 and in a similar fashion we can create the another set of pis right so what happens is you know we will see the usage of this one why not go ahead with the simple sprints creation because now we can clearly see that you know what the first five sprints that uh, we have defined they are part of the quarter one and similarly the next five sprints that we have they are part of the quarter two and we can also add the uh, ip sprint here as well we can add ip sprint 24q2 and uh, let's say this is from 17th till 21st of june right so this gets added so this is how we can kind of like define the quarterly sprints or the pi sprints which serves as the parent sprints for the or which serves as a container for all the uh, regular sprints that we have defined now let's go back to the okay let's uh, let's go to the team configuration and uh, select the iterations so what we can do is we can select the iterations from here we can select uh, this one we can also select sprint one and uh, let's select sprint two okay it doesn't allow to select uh, multiple sprints so we have to select one by one sprint four and then uh, let's say we have selected the sprint five as well okay so here we can see we have selected sprint one two three four five okay now if we go back to the board and we see the sprints So here we can see uh, these are the sprint two, three, four, and five. Let's see where they, why the sprint one is not coming. Uh, maybe we haven't selected it or, okay. So sprint one is there. Okay. Let's see. Okay, uh, so sprint one is, uh, passed and that's why it is not coming okay yeah so now uh, let's let's look at you know the set of features we have okay so here the advantage is uh, you know we have these set of features and we are not getting a clear picture to which pi or which quarter these features are planned out so what we can do is let's try to select the uh, instead of uh, the value area let's say we had a column called iteration path and we click on okay so this is currently uh, set as a normal sprint path so let's say the first 
five features they are part of the quarter one pi so what we can do is uh, if we click on the feature so here we can select okay this is our this is part of the 24q1 and we can save and close similarly this one we can say okay this is also part of the this particular pi sprint user profile as well so what we are doing is we are selecting since stories are tagged with the regular team sprints and features are tagged with the pi sprint so what we have done is we have created a pi sprint kind of a container for the team sprints so that's why we are selecting we are saying okay this feature team has committed in this particular pi similarly let's say the fifth one and we say this is also part of this pi now what what will happen is we can if we click on the filters and if you want to see uh, what all set of features are planned for the first pi 24q1 so we can identify this one so this is the advantage of using the structure that we have defined uh, why we have opted for a pi sprint and how we can easily tag the set of features that our team has committed in a particular uh, program increment using the pi sprint right and uh, so this is what exactly is the advantage of it so we do not have to use the tags here we can simply go ahead and you know use our pi sprint or we can call it like pi 24 q1 and uh, similarly the other set of features also we can tag so let's say the next set of features maybe the online payment using debit card this is needs to be done in the quarter two so we can save and close and similarly the net banking one uh, this needs to be done in the quarter two so we are doing save and close so what will happen is if you want to see okay what all feature our team has committed in the q1 which is going on they can see or they want to see what all has been planned for the next pi or the next quarter so they can see it from here now let us try to create a query uh, on the basis of which we can kind of like uh, share the different work items which our team is working on in a particular program increment to our dashboard so what we will do is we will click on the new query and uh, we will say our work item type is the feature state could be anything and uh, we will add a work item and direct link other work item that we want is the user story okay and uh, we are saying only returns items that have magic link they are the child and here instead of it uh, state we can call it like we want like iteration path and iteration path should be the pi 24q1 let's try to save this query we are saying uh, current work items in a pi and we will save it as part of the shared query so that you know we can uh, use it in our dashboard so let's click on ok now let us go to the dashboards so right now the dashboard is empty but we can uh, we can just make it as a favorite by clicking on this one so that we need not to kind of like search or select it and now what we can do is we can add a widget here so we will use a widget called query results so we can simply click on add and then say done editing now let's try to configure it so now what we can do is we can select the same query that we have saved as a shared query okay and uh, okay so these are the columns which are available but let's save it first okay so what exactly this query is doing is if we simply expand this one so this is giving us what are the current set of features which are planned in our uh, the first quarter quarterly plan or the first program increment right so since you know we tagged these five features as part of pi quarter one pi 24 quarter one so this is coming and we can also explore the feature as well we can see okay these are the user stories and you know accordingly we can we can clearly see it from here so this is the advantage of uh, you know using 
this particular structure that we have defined for the iterations. I mean, and this is primarily applicable. I mean, if our team is kind of a single scrum team or a single agile team, uh, they are just working on a two weeks or three weeks of a regular sprint cadence. So we do not need to kind of like uh, structure it or create a super container in terms of a quarterly sprint. But I mean, this is more applicable when we are part of a PI, when we are part of a quarterly planning and we are tracking it, we are, you know, having a separate PI planning first and then we are also doing the regular sprint planning. So it kind of like structures our sprint. I mean, we can clearly see, okay, as part of PI 24Q1, which is starting from this ending here, we have five regular two weeks of a sprint and then we are, it is followed by the one week of our innovation and planning sprint. And the advantage of using this approach is, uh, as we have seen in this particular video, that uh, if you go to the backlog and we try to identify what all features are planned in the 24Q1, so we can, you know, simply click on the feature and we can select the particular uh, container PI sprint or we can select PI 24Q1, PI 24Q2, or we can, we can define the another PI as well right and then we can also define our query so we already defined a query where we can say okay but all work items are currently planned in a particular pi so this was all about today's video i hope you guys liked it and if you are new to my channel please do share and subscribe that will definitely motivate me to share more learning videos thank you thank you so much